People that have woken up in bed with a stranger. What's your story? My roommate had a party. I woke up in the morning and there was a girl who had drunkenly snuck into my bed and fallen asleep. We woke up at pretty much the same time in the early am. Both very confused. We talked for a minute and she insisted on taking a bathroom break. Borrowing some PJS and snuggling back to sleep for a while. It somehow just felt like the natural thing to do. We ended up dating for a while and the joke was that we had slept together before we met. At my brother and sister-in-laws in Brunswick. GA. Sil had been subtly flirty with me all night. We all were completely shit faced on red wine. And my wife passed out on the sofa. I staggered off to bed. I awoke in the wee hours with a large. Warm body fully pressed up against my back. I was immediately terrified it was Sil. And I was going to have to either make a scene or have some serious splaining to do. Turns out it was Bill's Rottweiler. I went back to sleep. Day after a rush party I woke up to an alarm that wasn't mine. Heard a voice to my left say it's six gotta go to work reached over and handed her the phone and pretended to go back to bed. She was putting her shoes on by the dorm door and said aww thank you. Opened my eyes and apparently after blacking out and doing the deed I put a water bottle and granola bar in her shoe for work. Was in college. Went out too hard on a Thursday night because I had no class the next day. Woke up in my own room to a girl standing there getting dressed. I was dumbfounded. She super casually put on her jacket. Said I have to get to class and left before I could even get a word out. I never saw her again. Tried to ask friends who I came home with. Everyone said I just disappeared. Her face is burned into my mind and now. Five years later. I have no clue what happened or who I spent the night with. Lots of alcohol and weed at a party in a friend's place. I remember at some point I told people I needed to sleep and went to an empty room. The last thing I remember is this girl coming to bed and we started discussing the world's problems. I don't remember any other thing. The weirdest part was morning. We woke up. Saw that we were both naked. Awesome. I told her I don't remember anything from the night. Not even her name. We have a proper introduction. Have sx again, because why not? Comma. Have breakfast outside. Then share a taxi home, we were living close, and never saw each other again. I guess it felt weird for both of us. When I had my son. I couldn't sleep. I told my doctor I hadn't slept a full night in 13 months. Most nights I was getting only an hour or two and I couldn't sleep during the day. I'd try to nap. But I'd just stare at the ceiling. My doctor prescribed me Ambien. The first night I took it and went to bed. Sometime during the night. My husband brought the baby into our bed. I woke up to find a baby covered in rainbows and tiny little gnomes. Me. Honey. Honey. Wake up. There's a baby in our bed. Husband. I know. You're going to wake him up. Me. Do his parents know he's here? Husband. His dad does. Go to sleep. Not woke up with one but came home from primary school around 11 years of age. To find a complete stranger in my bed. Being completely naive thinking he was a family friend. I made us both sandwiches to give to him. I returned to my room to find him gone. I now look back at this with complete horror. My family finds it amusing that it took me years to tell my family about it. The fact that your initial reaction to a home invader was to make them a sandwich might be the oddest thing I've read in this thread. I know a guy who went home with a stranger. Went pee in the middle of the night naked. Went back to bed. Woke up to screaming. He had gone back to the wrong room and was naked in her mother's bed. Not exactly the answer to the question. But my dad told me something scary after his stroke. Because he couldn't feel one side of his body. He would sometimes wake up in the middle of the night and think a stranger had broken in and was laying next to him. He would have to calm down and remember that he'd had a major stroke and didn't immediately realize that the person he thought was laying next to him was he himself. 
was a female in my mid-twenties and fell asleep in a 60-plus man's hotel bed after a night of drinking in restaurant across from said hotel. What could have been a recipe for disaster turned into him saying a sci if I ever had a daughter I hope she'd be just like you. I called ya a cab and here's your wallet. Be safe now. Probably not what you imagined. As a kid. I would sleepwalk at night. In the morning. I would have no recollection of what happened. I spent the night at a friend's house when I was about 10. And the family had a fire going in the fireplace in their living room. My friend's mom decided to sleep on the couch to make sure the fire went out. And the dad went to sleep in the parents' bedroom. Due to the door to their bedroom always being closed. I had never been inside. But. Which was very. Very disorienting the next morning when I woke and said bedroom. As the dad was just waking up and getting out of his bed. He had assumed during the night I was his son. And didn't question anything when I slipped into bed with him. Kudos to dad for not making it any more awkward than it already was. And that's the story of how I awoke next to my friend's dad. Got really drunk at a dorm party. Ended up carrying a passed out girl up to her room. Three flights of stairs. Elevator was out. Plunked her in her bed. Took her shoes off. Then passed out on her floor. She woke me up by stepping on me and yelling at me. I was too hungover to argue and just left. Away at college. Went to a bar. Met a girl. I woke up the next morning in an on-campus apartment sharing a recliner with said girl. Neither of us lived on campus or knew who lived in the apartment we ended up at. In a dorm room. Early September. Roommate came home and didn't lock the door. Person who lived in the room the last year came in and climbed into what was now my bed and passed out. I woke up. Hilarity ensued. We became great friends. Had a nice homemade dinner date with my partner at the time. Watched a movie. Then kissed goodnight and they went home. And I went to bed alone a little later. Woke up around 2am and realized there was a living body next to me and almost shti myself. Took me a minute to figure out that date was all a dream. And it was just my partner. I have vivid. Mundane dreams that are difficult to immediately distinguish from mundane reality. We had in fact had a similar date IRL that evening. But it did not end with us parting ways. How about the opposite? I was out drinking with this girl and her friends I had just met. Ended up going back to their hotel room and hooking up. Fell asleep around 3am. Woke up around 5am with a bad hangover and completely alone. Somewhere between 3 and 5 the girl and her friends packed their shti and checked out of the hotel while I was asleep. I used to date this really shti ty guy. We lived together for 5 years and in that time some hella dicey shti happened. But this one makes the top 5. It was a Sunday night, around 2am. I was asleep in bed when I'm woken by that feeling of someone staring at me. Assuming it's my then boyfriend I tell him I'm trying to sleep and don't want to have sx. Then I hear a laugh I'd never heard before. I fly out of bed and there's this guy sitting on the edge of my bed laughing his ass off. I ask who he is he says I'm Andrew, boyfriends, buddy then he tells me how my ex told him I was a prude and would be mad if he came in our bed but he didn't believe my ex cause, boyfriend, was so cool. Why would he date a boring girl? Then he asked if I wanted some coke. I walked out and told my ex to get rid of him and let me sleep since I worked in the morning. His reply well now that you're up can you take us to McDonald's? I was taking a train from Munich to Venice. It was one of those trains that the little rooms have chairs that pull out into beds. An older Italian gentleman came in the room and as the train took off he made the sleep hand gesture. So I crashed out with this old dude. I woke up to him tapping me letting me know we will be in Venice after the next stop. Me scusi. Me scusi. I was around 19 years old and at a weekend festival where most people camped out in tents. I got hammered and blacked out on Saturday and woke up on an air mattress in somebody else's tent. I sat up to get my bearings at some point in the morning and a couple was also in the tent. But not laying on the air mattress. The guy sat up right after me and said buddy. I don't know who you are. 
but you better get the FCK out of here. I didn't stick around to ask any questions. I woke up to the sound of rain hitting the tent I was in, not my tent, and the random guy next to me saying oh FCK. My unicycle. Well I did. But not in the way that you'd think. So basically I went to sleep in my friend's bed because he got on the sofa and I woke up with a girl next to me. We didn't do anything the night before because multiple people have reported that they saw her coming into the room and just laying down next to me telling them that I was her boyfriend, which I wasn't, and then going to sleep. She may have confused me for her boyfriend and when I woke up I just snuck out and went home. Edit. Thank you for all of the replies and upvotes. It means a lot. I can't sit here and reply to every single comment but just know that I'm upvoting all of the comments here. My roommate's boyfriend once got plastered and tried to get in bed with my male roommate. While still living at my parents house. Woke up after a club night. It was still a bit dark. But I saw someone next to me in my bed. Spend 15 minutes trying to figure who this was before I decided to take a look. Turns out it were my extra blankets I used to fill up the space between bed and wall. Decided I needed a lot more sleep before going out of bed. I woke up with an eye patch on. It was the 1st of November and, and I managed to pick up a cute woman who dressed up as a pirate. I was so blackout. I charmed myself into being with someone way out of my league. She would later tell me I couldn't get my dick up. Making her regret her decision. Alcohol gives. Alcohol takes away. Been there bro. You are just seriously on the ball that night. Witty F. Every joke is landing. You're the life of the party. Then you get alone with the girl and you act like the Windows 95 operating system you really are and she's pissed that she got hyped up for something that lied to her. Not a bed but kind of an abandoned trailer in the middle of the desert. Found shelter slept in it woke up there was another person in there. They didn't know I was in there either. When I stood up and looked around they were staring at me all wide eyed and clearly freaked out. I didn't know what to do and we just looked at each other for a little bit. I don't know what to say so I offered her some corn nuts. We both laughed at that and then we shortly left without asking any questions. That's the closest I ever got to a one night stand. When I was 11 I went to my friend's place for a horror movie sleep overnight. I woke up with a 4 year old boy who turned out to be her little brother. Clinging to all my blankets in fear. He had eavesdropped on our sleepover after pretending to go to bed early. And was now convinced a killer doll would murder him in his sleep. Their mom made us all hot chocolate and then he slept in her bed all night. Not really woke up with a stranger. But I did wake up on a stranger's couch once. Looked around and sat up to see a woman staring at me. I was startled and realized I had no idea who this woman was. Then realized I was only in my underwear. So I half covered up and she asked who I was. I said my name and asked where Jill was. The girl I thought I went to see. She looked confused for a second before bursting out laughing. Turns out Jill's neighbor didn't lock her door and I was obviously very drunk. I ended up making a sandwich and drinking half a carton of orange juice before hitting the couch. Thank god she was so nice. Skylar. If you're reading this. Thank you for not calling the cops. The stranger wasn't in my bed. He was standing beside it looking down at me. He had not been in my apartment when I went to bed. He had broken in and apparently spent quite a bit of time in there before entering my bedroom. He'd broken in through one door and created an exit for himself that took him past the door he'd entered through and out through our other. Almost never used. Door. I chased him out but lost him in the alley behind my building. The police believed that my reaction saved me from a SZL assault and possibly from abduction. Unfortunately they never caught the guy. Not sure if this counts but I woke up under an SUV while tailgating at a D1 college with my pants around my knees, underwear still on. Game had already begun and as I climb out from underneath I get loud cheers oh. He's awake. From people I didn't know that were watching the game on TV outside the stadium. Turns out I was making out with one of their friends underneath the SUV after stumbling up and being really friendly. I passed out mid fooling around so she went into the game. 
When I was awkwardly standing there after getting the run down they offered me a beer and I just said yeah I think I'm gonna go home and began the 3 mile trek back to my house. Lol oh god. Wish this hasn't happened as often as it has. As a tiny female. I'm lucky to be alive. One specifically stands out. I was out drinking with my dad, he was in town visiting. Uncle. And my brothers. Across from our table are these two guys visiting from Tennessee. At some point my uncle starts chatting with them and invites them to join our table. One is very Matthew McConaughey like. So naturally I'm trying to be subtlety flirtatious. I drank a lot that night. To the point that I'm pretty spotty on leaving the bar. Or even the fact that my family just let me leave with these two random guys. I woke up in their hotel room. Turns out it was seven guys sharing the room. And I had the entire bed to myself. They even put the comforter over me while a couple had the other bed and the rest slept on the floor. One of the dudes even went and got breakfast for us all. Including me. They tried to convince me to go to the fish concert that they were in town for. But I had to work. Colon. Not me but a neighbor was a member of a fraternity and they all went downtown and got completely wasted. He doesn't remember how he got separated from his buddies but woke up in a very soft bed not knowing where he was. He saw a large fluffy flower bathrobe on the back of the door and put it on. He heard some voices and walked towards them. He walked into the dining room and there was an all black family smiling in relief at him. My neighbor was a southern white guy. Comma they were all eating breakfast and the father pulled out a chair right beside him and made him a heaping plate of scrambled eggs. Grits. Toast and bacon. My neighbor had left the bar in a drunken state and had come upon their car and passed out in their back seat. Thankfully. All ended up okay. He kept in touch with that family for a long time afterwards. I wonder if anyone in here recognizes themselves as the other person in the story. Was at a party at my friend's house. She went to bed. Her brother said I could sleep in his bed. Wasn't me but a guy I knew had a story. In college he got drunk at a party and his ride bailed. It was January and cold but he figured he could hoof it the couple miles back to his dorm. He took a shortcut through a graveyard and took a break. Sitting on a grave using the headstone as a backrest. Well he fell asleep. And he woke up in the morning. A houseless person had curled up next to him to share body warmth. Might have saved his life. I once rescued an injured bat and brought it to my room. Went to sleep and found a guy passed out on the floor and the bat was nowhere to be found. Weird T. You saved a vampire. Woke up. Didn't remember his name. Pretend to ask for his messenger so that I could get his name again. Next month will be our fourth anniversary. Edit. I woke up this morning. Say good morning hot guy. And opened my phone and saw this blows. Thanks for the stories. Glad to know that I'm not alone. And yes I hope I can learn his name when if we got married. At the wedding. Still don't know his name do you? Woke up at the wrong end of the bed with my knees on the floor and my ass out. But my head was tucked into the bottom of the bed. He asked where his wallet was and then left. Another time I woke up in a bed soaked with piss next to a man in a bunny suit. To this day I'm still not sure who wet the bed. Thanks you Hillfire Unicorn 120 for the award. After my father's death his sisters asked my family to spend a summer weekend with them at a beach resort town. It ended up being the vacation from hell for many reasons. But this is the part that fits the prompt. The aunts didn't tell us they were bringing their extended family. So we had 13 people crammed into a one bedroom condo. Most of us slept on the living room floor, which was also the dining room and kitchen. On Saturday night my teenage cousin stayed out late while the rest of us returned to the condo and went to sleep. The next morning we woke up to find a 14th person in the condo. A guy in his late teens to early 20s. My teen cousin explained that she'd met him while partying and he didn't have a place to stay so she let him crash with us. She let a complete stranger into the room where her grandmother, mother, sister, aunts, and cousins, two of whom were children, were sleeping. Her side of the family shrugged it off but my side was livid. 
We'll never spend a vacation with them again.